Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy joker 50 x and I am very pissed off at my job. No, not really, but I am kind of mad at the fact that my schedule changed and now I go in at a later time, but I still leave the house at the same time to save gas, of course. But it's kind of a bummer because it puts a huge dent in all my plans throughout the day. Gosh, it, it, it kind of messed up my uploading schedule that I had set up, but it's whatever it is what it is. And I'll just have to adjust and re-get used to things, you know what I'm saying? So, bear with me. But we will get this channel up and running consistently. Even though right now, things have not been consistent at all. And it's absolutely disgusting and annoying to me, myself. But let's get into it! Now, the, the free DLC 2 is about to drop very soon in February, which is right around the corner. And in that DLC, we will get a few new moves, a new stage, and... Um, we get Ciampa and Vados. Now, what Ciampa's and Vados moveset is going to be, I'm not 100% sure. But I know for a fact Ciampa's just going to be Beerus' moveset. It just color alterations. Which, I, I'm not going to complain about too much or what 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 have it. Um, but something I am looking forward to is the fact that with the paid DLC, we're actually getting more story. Uh, we're getting another, we're getting story missions. Which are the, uh, the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 saga and Dragon Ball Super. Now, that's all cool, fine and dandy and whatnot because, I mean, the Battle of God series is in the, um, the game. I mean, the Battle of God movie is in the game. The Resurrection F is in the game and part of the story. So it all works out and it's perfectly fine with me. Now, I believe... Now, I know... I, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go back a few steps. Recently, I talked about the lack of characters in my, my, my review video. And Oob was one of those characters. Now, if they are doing things based on what's currently going on, which is Dragon Ball Super picking up right before the tournament um, in Dragon Ball Z, before the time skip tournament in Dragon Ball Z, then that would explain the lack of Oob, which is okay on that note. But for its GT characters, it does not explain the lack of. And it's only two GT characters that are truly missing, in my opinion. One being Majub and the other being um, Super Baby Vegeta. If, if those characters were in the game, then the GT roster would pretty much be complete, in my opinion. But that's just me. Um, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about the new DLC that's about to drop. And um, the up-and-coming Dragon Ball Super arc. Now, I don't know about you guys. But if you are a Dragon Ball Z fan and you watch any of the Broly movies, I know that you are a Broly fan. I don't care who you are. You've watched a Dragon Ball Z movie, you are a Broly fan. And if you are a Broly fan, then you are really hyped to see the re iteration that they have included in this, um, this, this up-and-coming saga. Sure, Broly may be a girl, so it's probably like Brolina or some shit. But the bitch looks just like Broly. And I'm fine with it. Think about it. It's the first female Super Saiyan on top of she looks just like Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. Now, how is this going to play out? I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure she's going to be the legendary Super Saiyan of that universe. Um, just to like, how can I put this? Uh, pay homage to Broly actually not being canon, which is all fine with me and everything. I am 100% okay with that. But you, you're always going to have those fans that's going to complain about something. And there are going to be a few people that are going to be like, oh, so why why didn't we just get the actual Broly Broly into the series as Broly? And what have you, whatever the reason for that may be, I honestly don't care. I'm just extremely happy that we have Broly in the game. So, on to the next order of business. The new gods of destructions that they introduce, all of which are based off of... um different gods i found the picture earlier where somebody um actually compared them side by side on compared them side by side to the gods that they're based off of um i'm gonna try to refine the, the 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 picture so that way it's in the video when you when i get to this part so you guys can see it or whatever excuse the stuttering i'm just really excited but um we're, we're pretty much getting all the gods of destructions are pretty much all the gods of destructions from various religions, which is cool and all, but there's no but. I just feel like saying but. But anyway, which is all cool. I, I like it. Um, do I think they could have put a little more effort into the way they drew some of them? Yes. 
But overall, I'm fine with it. Um, I find it kind of amusing how most of the internet is going crazy over the clown and um, and the angel that's with him and saying, oh, we got Harley Quinn and the Joker. That's pretty funny to me. I like it. But overall, I'm just really excited for this DLC and this upcoming art in Dragon Ball Super. And I really hope they invest a lot of money and time into the animations because I do not want this to be subpar. I do not. I want this to look amazing. I want it to look as amazing as the final fight with Goku and Black, Goku and Hit, whatever the greatest visual effects we've had in Dragon Ball Super. I want it to top that. I want, th I want this art, this entire art to be fucking beautiful. So... With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, hit the like button, comment, tell me what you think, and it is your boy Joker850, and we are out. Peace.